to Wugula Kimunu, also known as Beswick. Wugula is one hour's drive southeast of the township of Catherine. Catherine is a service centre for the local cattle industry and a thriving tourist hub, with close proximity to the Nitmaluk National Park, featuring the Catherine Gorge and the world famous Kakadu National Park. Hello, my name is Miluanga Sandy. I come from Wugala community, which is Beswick community. We're a small community. We have about uh, 500 in our community. Where we have a lot of different tribal groups who speak different languages. There are about seven, seven languages spoken on, on the community. But the, the major, um, everyone speaks Creole in the community here. We also have our own mother tongue language. Um, my language, of course, is Rembarnga, which is originally from the central Arnhem. Uh, we also have very strong uh, culture in this community. Um, our traditional way um, is very strong as with our customary laws, which we still abide to, it's very, very strong. Tom Lewis is a Woogala man who began a performing career as a lead actor in The Chant of Jimmy Blacksmith in 1978. Each year, he and the Royal Australian Shakespeare Company coordinate the Walking with Spirits Festival at Beswick Falls. Actually, the country is a church. For me to start the festival, it was like I've got to get permission from the elders. I've got to do the right way in um, respecting whatever the outcome. Um, and if they believe in you and they say yes, well, you've got to go and do it. Yeah. Also, we ha have a bigger festival, which is the Baranga Cultural Sports Festival. And Baranga is our nearest uh, neighbour neighbouring community, which is a lot bigger than Wugula, but um, we, we all share with the dancing groups that we have. We have two dancing groups. A lot of our people are artists as well, and women who uh, do a lot of craft work like mats and dilly bags, string bags. From our art centre, we focus a lot on our um, on our indigenous issues, you know, like corroborees and teaching young ones our language, cultural sports, um, as well as our health as well. Traditional health education comes into it, as well as children. Yeah, I'm one of them elders. We, I'm doing, I'm running that um, Manchester, Australia. So we do um, program with no kids, like cultural stuff. We teaching everything, you know, like spear spear cutting, spear throwing. We are divided in that to Yiricha, which is fire, Dua is water, and that's the law for us. We it's our Marian. It's where. Um, it shows you which family you can speak to and who is responsible for what. So, and we are responsible for together of one another. And when you come into a community, you know that in my law, in my culture, I can't stand next to my sister. I can't sit at the same room as my mother-in-law. I can't stand close to my brother-in-law in, in, a, in a small place. Uh, I, I, have to um, make way for these people, which not because um, I have to, I have to because in respect and in my law, uh, if I don't obey it, my family can get sick. And if you understand the, the family block with those Iritja and Dua, you get to learn a lot more and I can't speak for the the desert family although it has the same system 
but I have no rules to speak for the families on the west side of Catherine because I, I have no songs and stories and I, I don't want to lie about my people when uh, saying that I know them. For um, non-indigenous people that come out whether you know, you're a policeman or a doctor, a nurse, teacher, you know, um, we provide cross-cultural courses which, which um, the Art and Craft Centre does that and, you know, we're the teachers for the cross-cultural uh, courses. We learn from one another and what I've learned is that if you understand the white fellow way and you understand your black fellow way, you can have a really good time in the country. Really good time. Come and enjoy with our mob up here. We'll show you something really good one. <laughs> no crocodiles. <laughs>